But we all know it was a meteor that killed the dinosaurs 66 million years ago. But now there's an interesting new theory about how it all came to happen. Harvard physicist Lisa Randall says it was dark matter that was to blame. And she explains her theory in her new book, Dark Matter and the Dinosaurs. Lisa Randall joins us now in studio. Lisa, thanks for being here. Thanks for having me here. As, as our executive producer told me right before this interview, we have four minutes to explain the mysteries of the universe. I know. So, they always say science is hard, so let's give very little time for it. Right, exactly. <laughs> so let's talk first dark matter. Before we get into the mechanics of how the Good. dark matter interacted with the comet that led to the extinction of the dinosaurs, what is dark matter? And bearing in mind, I am a total science neophyte. So, you know, dark matter is actually one of the simpler things to understand because it, it really is just matter, but it's not matter that's made up of the stuff we're familiar with. It's not made up of atoms. It's not made up of charged particles. It's matter in the sense that it interacts with gravity like matter. It clumps right. into galaxies, into galaxy clusters, but it doesn't interact with light. Light just passes through it. In fact, billions of dark matter particles are probably passing through you this second. Right and now? And you don't know about it because they're just not interacting with you. They're going, I thought that was my breakfast digesting. But that's, you, no, that's, that you actually notice. That's dark you matter. You don't notice the dark matter. <laughs> and this stuff is, is very prevalent in the universe, right? There's actually five times the energy in dark matter as there is in ordinary matter. Wow. You know, we're kind of ordinary matter chauvinists. We kind of ignore all of it, <laughs> but it's actually very important. Wow. Okay, so how did this dark matter interact with the comet that ultimately led to the dinosaurs? Extinction? Well, I just want to be clear. This is a conjecture. It's a hypothesis. Okay. It's sort of a way of exploring, actually, the universe, the solar system. The book is about a lot of stuff. But the conjecture has to do with there being a different type of dark matter, that, like the Milky Way disk. So, so or, know that dark matter surrounds us, an enormous, approximately spherical halo. Okay. Ordinary matter is in a plane. That's the Milky Way disk. You don't really see from Toronto, but you can see in other places right. in the world. And then... In that disk, there might be a dark matter disk, and we explain why that might be true. And the solar system goes around the Milky Way every 240 million years, and it actually bobs up and down through that disk. And our idea is that when it crosses that disk, there's an extra gravitational tug on the solar system that could actually dislodge weakly bound objects very far away okay. from what's known as the Oort cloud. And so, so periodically, you might get an enhanced probability for something to hit the Earth. So this dark matter knocked the comet, the theory is, knocked the comet off track, and that's what exactly, hit exactly. the Earth. And that happened 66 million years ago. So, so you're somebody who a, a lot of folks listen to. You know, you're a Harvard physicist. You're one of Time's 100 most influential people. You've been on that list before. So what's been the reaction to the theory? You know, I think people, t you know, have a healthy degree of skepticism. I mean, they know that this is a possibility. But what it's really telling us is we haven't thought broadly enough about what dark matter can be. It's mysterious. We know it's out there. I mean, we don't know what it is, but we have seen its gravitational effects in many different ways. So what we're trying to do is say, how, what, what other things could it be? What could it look like? Right. Are there other ways to look for it? So I think as a way of testing for what dark matter can be, people are very happy with it. I think as talking about periodicity, some people are like, we were hoping that would go away. Talking again about the meteoroid that killed or possibly a comet that killed the dinosaurs, I think that's it. people love it. Right, so I gotta wrap it up in a sec, but I mean, how likely is it that we could prove or disprove this one day? I mean, are we close? It seems like we know very little about dark matter. That's right, and one of the things we show is that you can actually show whether this dark disk exists. So is okay. there this thin, dense disk of dark matter? And that's because it actually, it's the shape of the galaxy. It affects the motion of stars. And there's a satellite named Gaia that's actually measuring a billion stars, the position of velocities. Wow. So it, we'll find out whether this disk is there or not. Well, it's a fascinating theory and a fascinating read. Thanks so much for being here. Thanks for having me here. And now I know that's not dark matter that I'm feeling. That is correct. Good.